Hi everyone, I'm Ryoko and I am a resident of this dormitory for new animators. In this video, I want to show you the typical everyday life of a rookie animator such as myself and what it's like to live in an animator dormitory. In my last video, I talked to you about what my first month as an animator was like in April. This time, I want to talk to you about what my life was like in May such as my lifestyle and my salary. So if you're curious, please watch until the end. As I told you in my previous video, I started working at the anime production company of my dreams in April but I unexpectedly wasn't able to get proper job training. So although I was excited and ready to do my best, I was pressured and frustrated at the same time. That's basically how my life as an animator began. In general, new animators are only able to start working after three months of proper training. So I expected a similar process for myself. I figured that my training would start in May and then I would finally be able to start working after that. But my situation ended up being pretty different. I skipped training and started working as an animator from an actual anime series right away. This is super rare. Because of the lack of a training system at the anime production company I worked for, I had no choice but to start working as an animator way earlier than I was supposed to. But because I technically skipped training, I wasn't able to improve as much as I wanted to on skills such as drawing in between animations, and so I felt kind of stressed. But that being said, because I already started to work, I wanted to skip even more steps and start keyframe animation jobs right away. In case you don't know, animators in general can finally start key animation work only after working for at least one to two years. I knew that with my lack of experience, it wouldn't be easy to get key animation work, but I didn't want to give up before at least trying. So I applied to a few anime production companies, and guess what? I got some work as a key animator. One project I got to work on as a key animator for is how heavy are the dumbbells you lift? I actually got this opportunity through Twitter. Since I was such a big fan of this manga, I still remember how excited I was when I got the offer through DM to work with them. I was basically in charge of drawing scenes from the main character's daily life, which was actually pretty difficult. I remember that it took me a lot of trial and error, and a long time to finally get the drawings right. Okay, I really want to explain something. Like I mentioned, new animators usually aren't able to get keyframe animation work in general. Why? Because, in order for an animator to progress from in-between work to key animation work, there are certain conditions that must be met. Some of these conditions include being able to draw at least 300 in-between animations per month, and being able to continue that same workload consecutively for three months. It usually takes one to two years to get to this level. Once in-between animators feel that they have finally mastered this process, they take an exam to get the chance to become a key animator. Once animators pass this exam, they are then assigned to draw layouts and key animation for the first time. This is generally how the training process goes. In my case though, I had an opportunity to seek actual anime production job opportunities at an anime studio as a student animator before becoming an actual animator. So because of this, I was fortunate to be able to gain a bit more experience compared to other new animators. Because I skipped formal training, I wasn't able to work on a lot of basic skills. And there were so many things about animation that I still don't know about. Even with the job I found on my own, because my skills weren't where they should be for a job like that, I felt dissatisfied with my work and was continuously asked to fix and to do over my drawings. I couldn't even stick to my schedule, so I started to regret skipping training and going straight to work. I started asking myself if I should have studied and practiced in between animations more. I started to doubt myself and wonder whether or not I made the right decision. 
But when we finally finished with production and I saw my name on the closing credits and my drawings come to life, it reminded me and gave me confidence that I could become a real animator one day. I was so happy and it motivated me to become an even better animator. During Golden Week, a Japanese holiday season in May, I hung out with my friends. When I went out, I noticed so many things about people and nature that I never noticed before, which positively influenced how I viewed animation. I was able to refresh and find inspiration out in the world, which I wasn't able to get being inside. During this vacation, I realized that observing how the world moves around me can help me grow as an animator, and that going out instead of drawing at a desk is sometimes necessary. Similar to April, I spent my second month as a new animator trying to figure out what I'm best at in terms of animation and what I should focus more on. I was still at the stage of figuring out how I can become an even better animator. My monthly salary was the same as well. It was about 50,000 Japanese yen, which is about 450 US dollars. What do you think of my story? I hope that my videos give you a more detailed understanding of what a life is like for a new animator such as myself. Maybe you might learn something new as well. I will post about my life in June soon too, so if you are interested, please check out that video too. A few of you asked me about the dormitory itself in the comments, so I decided to make a video about the dorm too. I hope you'll like it. Thanks for always leaving comments, guys. If you have any questions about Japanese animators and about this dorm, please leave them below. I would love to read your comments. Thanks for watching! This dorm is operated thanks to the help of the donation from our supporters. If you are interested in more information about our crowdfunding program, please check out the link in the description below.